Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create sticky section titles with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So as you can see, I'm logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. So I'm going to click here and uh, say add new, uh, give this page a name. I'm just going to call it sticky section and then use the Divi builder. Next, we're going to build this from scratch. So I'm going to click on start building. And the first thing we need to do here is to add some padding. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to go into my section settings, design, spacing, and I'm going to add my padding of 200 pixels. Now this needs to be both to the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to activate the chain so that I have this equal amount on both sides. All right. So now that we've added our padding, the next step is to just save this and then click on this plus button to add our column structure. So I'm going to start with a single column. So I'm going to add it. And then I'm going to go into my column settings. I'm going to click here on this gear icon, click on design, sizing. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is to adjust my gutter. And the gutter is the space between the columns. So I just want to make sure that this is set to one, so I don't have any spaces. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my width. Now by default, it's set to 80%. We want this to be 100%. And for the maximum width, we're gonna do the same, set that to 100%. Now that we've added this, we're going to save, and it's time now to add our text module. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. Now I'm going to name it. So I'm just going to call this about and I need to set this to heading two. So I'm going to highlight it, click on this drop down, set it to heading two. All right. So now that uh, we have set it to heading two, the next step now is to stylize this text. So I'm going to come over here to design heading text. Now remember, we set it to heading two. So I'm going to come over here to heading two and let's start by adding our font and this is going to be poppins and let's set this to semi bold and our text alignment center and uh, our color uh, this is going to be black so i'm just going to drag this all the way down here right so now it's time to set our sizes so i'm going to scroll further down and this is going to be 20 vw so we want this nice and big now, it's a good idea that you also go into your other views. So we need to go into the tablet here and set this to 28. So we want this to look great on all devices. And that also needs to be the same for the phone as well. Okay, so now that we have this all set, the next step now is to add a second row. So I'm going to save this. And then I'm just going to click here on this plus button. And the row structure I am going to add is this one right here. So I'm going to select it. Right. So now that we have our row, we also need to do what we did before. And that is to uh, come over here to my row settings, design, sizing, and just make sure that use custom gutter width is activated. And then I'm just going to drag this all the way down and set this to 100%. And... The same applies here on the maximum width, right? And it's time now to save. And in this column here, we're also going to add a text module, but it's going to come over here to column two. I'm going to search for it and select it. And I'm going to paste my dummy text in here. But for you, this is where you'd come in and add your text on your website. Okay. All right, great. So now that I have my dummy text, the next step is to go into my text settings by coming over here to design text. We're going to change this to poppins. We are also going to change our text color. And uh, let's use our recent colors here. And it's this black. And for the text size, we're going to set this to 2VW. And like we did before, let's set our sizes for our tablet. So for our tablet, we're going to set this at 4VW. And for the phone, it's going to be 5VW. Excellent. 
Right, so as we look at this, we can see that the spacing between the uh, lines is way too close. So first of all, we're going to start by uh, going to our letter spacing, and we are going to set this to minus 0 0.1. We just want to make it a bit tight. And then for the line height, we're going to set this to 1.6. So now it's much better. It's easier to read. Now let's head over to sizing. So here we need to uh, set our width. So right now it's set to auto. We want 70% for the module alignment. It needs to be centered and then save. Now it's time to add an image to this column. So I'm going to click on this plus button and search for image. And the image I am going to use is this one here. So take note of the size. It's 1600 by 1067. I'm going to say upload image. And now my image has been uploaded. I'm going to click here on design sizing. And over here, I'm going to make sure it's set to force full width. Next, I'm going to come over here to spacing and uh, add a top margin of 100 pixels because this is way too close. So we need to give this some breathing space. So by adding 100 pixels, this makes it look nicer. Right, so let's save this. And the next step now is to add a button. And this all is happening on column two. So I'm going to search for it and select it. And the text we need here is just to say, get to know us. But of course, you can add whatever text you want on that button. Now, here is where we need to add your link. For now, I'm going to add a blank link. But in your case, you want to make sure that you add a proper link that takes you to that particular page. All right, so now that we have this, it's time now to stylize our button. So I'm going to come over here to design and click on button and activate use custom styles for button. The first things first, I'm going to add my size here. It's going to be 1.5 VW. And next, we're going to add our button text color. So we're going to change this to white. Now, I know it looks like everything has disappeared. That is because we don't have a button background color. So I'm going to add it and paste my hexadecimal value here. So now my button is visible. Right, so uh, for our button border width, we're going to uh, set this to zero. And we're also going to do the same for our button border radius. So now we have a perfect rectangle. Now let's uh, adjust our font. So at the moment, it's set to default. So we want this to uh, to be Poppins. And we also need to show icon. And let's scroll down here. And it says yes, which is fantastic. But we want this icon here over to the left. So I'm going to click here on this drop down, set it over to the left. And here where it says only show icon, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's say no to that. Okay, now I'm going to change the icon itself. So I'm going to go with that. Now our button uh, is not really quite big. So what we need to do is to come over here to spacing and give it a bit of padding. So this padding will make the button look much better. So for the top padding, we're going to set this to 3%. And I think if we add the same, it's much better that way. Okay, so we're going to add both uh, five, I mean, both 3% to the top and the bottom. And we also have our left and right padding. And this time we are going to set this to 5VW like that. So now our button is nice and big. Next, let's add another text module here. So I'm going to save and click on this plus button here to add our text module. I'm going to select it. Okay, so I've just added my text here. So it's just basically first item, second item, and so on. So this is going to be the text that goes into uh, this text module. But in your case, you can add whatever text you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Now let's go and customize it. So I'm going to come over here to design text. And first of all, we need to change our font here to Poppins and uh, also change our text color. Now I know I've used black recently, and here it is. I'm going to select that. And now we're going to set our size and um, it's going to be 2VW. Let's add our letter spacing and our line height. So our line height is going to be 1.6. So now they're evenly spaced and that's looking much better. Next, we're going to come over here to the ordered list and we're going to add our color. I'm going to come over here to the recent colors, select it. For our line height, I'm going to set this to 1.6. 
And for the style here, I am going to look for Rome, uh, Upper Roman. And here it is. Now let's head over here to sizing. And what we need to do is to set our minimum width. And it's going to be at 70%. And let's align its center. And now we're going to come over here to spacing. And uh, for the spacing, we're going to add some margin. Because as you can see, it's way too close to the button there. So adding 50 pixels just gives us some uh, breathing space. We're also going to add some margin to the left and the right. And it, this time it's going to be 5%. Okay, so now that we have our design in place, the next step now is to add all our effects. So what we're going to do is to start off by working on this first row so i'm going to click here on row settings and we need to make it sticky so i'm going to come over here to advanced scroll effects and by default it says do not stick so we want to um, set this to stick to the top and we want to limit by section so next we need to customize the z index so we're going to come over here to position set our z index to one and then save now we're going to go to column two. So this needs to be done on row two. So I'm going to come over here to my second row and click on my row settings. And we need to go to column two. So I'm going to select it. And then we're going to come over here to design filters. So this is where we need to add our blending mode. And we're going to change this from normal to multiply. Okay, so we're going to save and save one more time. Now we're going to go into our text. And we're going to come over here to design. I'm going to come to heading two because this text here is heading two. So here with our, on our heading, we're going to uh, go to scroll effects and make this sticky. Now back over here to the design, we can now go to our heading text and set up our sticky options. So first of all, I'm going to come to the color here. So now you notice now we have the sticky option. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to add my color on the sticky option and set it to white. Now we need to go to our text shadow and select our text shadow. Next, we're going to change the text module spacing, but on sticky. So to do that, we need to go to spacing. So I'm just going to collapse this and come over here to spacing. So here we need to make sure that we have the right uh, tab. So I'm going to click here on sticky and make sure that I have my sticky option selected here. And then I'm going to set my minus 35%. Next, I'm going to come over here to advanced transitions and I'm going to set this to 500. There we go. So now that we have this section all complete, all you have to do now is to reuse this. So right now, so you can see my text here has changed and that looks really nice. So we can see here when we scroll, we get to the bottom here and everything is looking great. So what we need to do is to reuse all this. OK, so to save us time, we can just come over here and duplicate it a few times. And then you can just change the title here from about and maybe change it to story or even something else. But as you can see, this is really working well. So once you've duplicated it and you've added uh, another section and you've given it a title, let's take a look at the final design. OK, so here we go. So if I start scrolling, you can see here my text is over there. And when I continue, we also have story there coming up. And the animation is still there as well. Great. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.